Hello again, Star Wars Unlimited fans. So, going to do the unboxing of number two, box number two from the Games Expo haul. So let's get right straight into it. Space first pack, not bad, not bad. Oh yes, that's more like it. that's that that's first pack magic, fantastic. Boba Fett ledge. Oh, that's brilliant. Always good to get a Boba Fett, especially in the next set. As with all the underworld and bounty hunters, this is I think he's going to be major busy. Very popular again. He was popular already anyway, wasn't he? So let's we'll see. Oh, yeah, another one. Again, that's one of my favourite arts. It's a phenomenal art. So just yeah. I think I've already got that, but still fantastic to get. What? Okay, that's uh Huh. Two in top two packs. I don't think I've had that before. Two legendaries in the top two packs. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Please hope the rest of the box is like this. It'll be fun. I'll jinx it now. Get mixed up there. I separate them out, sorry, I had to separate them out, otherwise I've got to go through them all again. It takes loads of time to do it again. Just makes my life a little bit easier in the future. So I've got tons of them, as you can imagine. So Guerrera, and I see it, Hyperspace Foil. Oh, wow. Some of these artworks are fantastic. I, I really hope they keep it. I can imagine some of these new ones coming out in the next set. It's just going to be even just, wow. Missed that one then. Blended in really well because it's quite quite dark one. What up? We've got a tie fire. Go on. Again. Okay. I think it's like two and three packs anyway, isn't it? So you, go, you always get a few of them. An Obi-Wan. And... Yeah. Still, I <laughs> can't, can't get any more upset. I can't get upset, sorry. Can't can't knock this box at all. The last box was pretty good. The first box, you say, was the last box. It was a good box. And five legendaries. One of them being a foil was good. So... But those two straight away, just... Yeah. Sorry, it's been a. I had it set up perfectly, and then, like I said, I've been away, so kind of all gone all over the place. Hmm. 
got legendary again. I'm not even halfway through the box yet. Command. Oh, full surrender, happy space foil. Oh, nice. Well, it's only an uncommon, but. Yeah. Another good artwork. Oh, there's not many artworks. I think we all, we all know the one artwork we don't like. If you don't know, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you work that one out. There's one generic around the community every so to not like the artwork. Another one. Oh, good. Pull one of them in the last box. Still a great card. Great looking card. Oh, yes. That's fantastic. Hyperspace Vigilance. Wow. So that's four legendaries already. And one of them's a hyperspace. Straight into a Chimera. And then a hyperspace foil at the same time. That's a, that's a pretty good pack. Wow. Chimera, Vigilance and Crafty Smuggler. Hyperspace foil. Yeah, that's a... That's a, turned out to be a really good pack so far. This box so far. I would love to get a god box. I don't know if anybody's ever heard about one, but there, I've heard about a couple of occasions. There is a fellow YouTuber somewhere that I did watch a video and he actually caught. He had a god box. And basically what it is, is where these uncommon slots are here. So you can get hyperspace on the last common. I think if you have watched my, one of my, earlier videos i have mentioned it once or twice so basically where that's as you should saw with the vigilance that's where the third uncommon is where your hyperspace legendaries uncommons are and rares well he had every single one of these in the uncommon slots were a hyperspace so he literally you know he's getting three hyperspaces every single pack in a whole box so you can imagine he got every single like you got vader you got bobber he got Luke, Vigilance Commands, everything, all the big cards, and then all the other rares on top of that. You got absolutely loads of cards for it, which is fantastic. But I've only heard about three boxes so far that have had that. A couple of people on the Facebook groups. I don't know where they were from. And then obviously that, that guy, I think he was in, I think he was American. So let's see if you get one of them boxes, it literally pay for you. Oh, nice. And I've only just recently, recently seen on one of the Facebook groups that they did this in a playmat, this artwork in a playmat. I don't know what it, where it was from, like an official one. So I don't know what event it was from, but yeah. Dooku. But yeah, that, that, that the artwork in a, in a playmat. Fantastic. I've not seen that before. through a bit more we all know these commons and uncommons by now most of you that probably not watching this are probably not new to this game so yeah to me dead hyperspace hmm that's good good at work all good more sort of oh relance foil as well nice so far this uh, box is proven to be the last one was good but this one's definitely hitting the mark a lot higher you're going to get some good boxes some bad boxes generally I believe these boxes are not that bad you don't tend to be disappointed with most of them. But the game isn't generally disappointing either. It's so proven to be very popular. I think this next set's gonna be even more popular, I think. Hopefully it won't sell out though. They do produce a lot more, so people have a lot more. Because the demand's just gonna go up and up. The game's gonna get I've, I've, at the expo when I was buying the boxes, there was a lovely gent and his missus stood next to me, and they were she just they mentioned about it, and I just talked to them a little bit about it, and they wanted to know what. Well, they were, they were buying the starter set, so they wanted. I just told them a little bit about the game, and just a little bit about the packs and how much, and what you're getting them because they were just curious if it's you know value for money. It definitely, in my opinion, I, I it was just my opinion, but I think it definitely is value for money. But it also depends on how you're gonna do the game. Are you just doing it to play? Which means, you know, you 
some people don't like to have everything. I, I would say if you want to play, just have three of every card. Six of maybe commons and uncommons, because they literally are the heart and soul of your, your deck. And then all the rares and legendaries, I'd probably say you need at least three of each. You need three of each. But like, obviously, you know, if you see my other video, I'm collecting. So unfortunately, my pain is I've got to get a lot more cards. A lot more cards. I mean, I haven't, I've done a few little bit of, I've bought a few odd ones, mostly hyperspace and hyperspace foil legendaries of before the price hike when um, the cards were getting, boxes were getting harder to find. Oh, hyperspace. I did buy a couple of bits and bobs, which is a good job because I saved myself a little bit of money doing it then. So, chances of pointing hyperspace foil is the legendary is a lot, a lot higher, a lot harder. A lot lower to do, so. Another one. Oh, I had one out there. I really would like to get these signed. Something I thought about. Unfortunately, that gentleman, I can't remember what his name is, has passed away. But I do want to get some of the actors, like, if I could get... I can never tell remember his name to sign that. Or even, oh, yeah, Mark Hamill to sign that one would be absolutely fantastic. Or Hayden, Hayden Christian to sign that one. Maybe, maybe in the future, who knows. Second to last pack. Come on. Come on. Showcase. No. Do you know so? No? No. Some of these hyperspaces are so dark, it, it blends in so well with the black, you know what I mean? You can just so you just you can easily miss it as a normal card. Saber and I got hyperspace foil behind it. Oh, rugged survivors. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a good card. So, yeah, um, wow, that's a fantastic box actually. Again, though, only three standard rares, legendary, sorry. Got four hyperspace foils though. That's a bit not different. I think, I can't remember exactly how many you get. Is it, what, is it one in every is it 12 packs so you got a couple more then but like that one is doesn't account to the normal so that's a normal standard but still two really good cards and an extra bonus as well with the vigilance hyperspace so there you go that was box number two thank you for watching and keep an eye for box number three and four